Typhoon Traumi becomes the second Category 5 of the month in the Western Pacific. Now with winds of 160 miles per hour, that's around 280 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of around 915 millibars. As of 5am Japan Standard Time, it was located here at 19.6 north, 129 degrees east, and is now a stage 9 on the CDPS, which means extreme out of that 10 tiered scale. Right now it's 422 miles from Miyakojima on the Japanese Ryukyu Islands, 458 from Santa Ana the Philippines, 462 from Naha on Okinawa and 607 miles from Taipei. A gale advisory is in effect for the Ryukyu Islands and for most of Taiwan including its associated islands. The Philippines are still considering whether to put up any Signal 1 warnings later on. That may be prudent as the storm goes on, but it's likely to miss the Philippines completely. This is what we expect from the models over the next few days. Uh, again, it's calling for that stalling motion, and that's where all of the uncertainty is lying with Trami at the moment. Uh, in the long term, we expect it's either going to go towards the northwest or it's going to go further north. The GFS solution has, its has it further north and then turning towards the northwest and then back north again. Ultimately, ending up in the East China Sea could go on to affect Japan after that. You can also see a new storm forming behind that as well there in this latest animation. It's been there for quite a while actually in recent runs, uh, but we'll pick up on that again in a moment. Sea surface temperatures though remain very warm to sustain a storm of this intensity, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius, although if it stalls for too long it will lose its momentum. So this is what we expect again over the next few days, look at the wind field there, the green areas corresponding to gale force winds, as you can see should avoid the Philippines, uh, but then it's going to impact the Japanese islands and possibly towards Taiwan. The GFS is one of the eastern outliers, one or two other models taking it further west. Taiwan certainly can't be ruled out of this or the east coast of China, but at the minute, the minute sorry, GFS taking a beeline potentially for Okinawa and that other system behind it becoming a typhoon as well. These are the chances for tropical storm force winds as it stands. 53% for Ishigaki, 56 for Miyakojima, and 33% in Taipei, which is a lesser chance than on Okinawa. So those are places we'll be watching all the way from Taipei to Okinawa is the area we're watching most worryingly. This is what the intensity forecasts say from the models. They're still yet to catch up, to be honest, so there's not much to tell out of that. The JTWC, I think, calls for further strengthening possible. Wind shear is extremely low. That's why all of this strengthening has occurred in the first place. It's 0 to 5 knots, maybe up towards 10, perhaps. And there's the models. The CTCX on the left-hand side there, still calling for a possible scenario to take it to Taiwan. But the GFS and the HWRF falling in line far to the east towards Okinawa and possibly a jump towards the west before it gets there. But this is the storm's position right now and what it's been doing in those last few frames it's been continuing to intensify. Its structure is fantastic, very impressive structure from the storm. The eye wall building out, although still somewhat shallow cloud tops, but the eye is continuing to deepen and further strengthening is quite possible with that eye, which constitutes about 35 nautical miles in diameter. That's all for now. We'll have more on this later. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. We also have a new server on Discord. You can find a link in the community tab.